How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and today, oh my god, I just got back from watching Gran Turismo and I have to say, it's good. It is really good. Like, like I was, I saw the trailer a couple months ago and I was like, oh, that, that movie looks cool. It looks like I'll enjoy it, but I thought it was going to be like, I don't know, corny or like, like just like lame, like cliche. I don't know. That movie is probably top three car movies for me like that movie ford versus ferrari and maybe like tokyo drift just from nostalgia maybe those three would be top three for me like i'm not a huge fan of of, of car related movies ironically and, and my reasoning behind it is they usually get a lot of stuff wrong to where i can't really bear to watch them like like i'm just like oh my god like what no 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 that doesn't work like that I just, like like stuff like that you know it, it's probably similar to like gun enthusiasts that are like super hardcore about guns watching like war movies or like action flicks and stuff like that it's like okay dude you got a 20 round mag you just blew through 100 bullets without reloading like that would that would upset some people me i could turn that part of my brain off and still enjoy those movies for cars though you know danger to manifold and then the floor pops out in the first fast and the furious like it's just a little bit too much and i get they got to make it a movie and they got to make it entertaining there's got to be stakes but when you're making a car movie who are you making it for are you making it for car guys or are you making it for like the average like just population so going into this movie i was like all right i'm expecting to have fun but it's going to be corny and stuff like that um and there's going to be like just like plot armor and stuff like that no no I, it was it, it's it's a good movie we will talk about some spoilers in a bit but it, it's just it's just a good movie it's just a good movie and it is a it is a great ad for nissan i will say that it is a two-hour advertisement for nissan after the movie, I literally told my girlfriend, I told her, I was like, I want an R35 now. So, um, I, I don't know, maybe we'll sell the McLaren and get an R35. I don't know. I kind of want one now that, that movie just made me like, damn, that's a, that's a pretty cool car. You know, like I always, you know, kind of liked R35s, but after watching that movie, I was like, all right. Y you got me on that one. I'm going to throw in some clips just so you're not looking at me the whole time of me doing some canyon driving because this movie definitely motivated me to do some canyon driving. I just have to adjust one shock on my McLaren before I can go, but I'm definitely probably going tonight. But yeah, this movie, like, not only is a good movie, but it motivated me to go drive my cars. Like, my McLaren has been sitting for a month, probably. It's just been plugged in, just on the battery tender, just sitting. And now I'm like, all right. I want to go drive it. I want to go drive it hard. I want to go have fun. I want to just go send the car and just push the car. Like, I just want to go have fun. And I actually wanted to go have so much fun. I set up my racing sim for the first time in forever. And I was just on it for hours straight, just like perfecting this one track. I don't know. I joined some random online lobby on a set of Corsa. And I was just in an F1 car, just perfecting this track. And I was like, wow, like, I know it's not Gran Turismo. A set of course is still like really up there, like with its realism and stuff like that. But I could totally see how it could translate to like the top of the line people that just understand and put in the hours on the racing sim. But really quickly, I guess let's just talk about the plot of Gran Turismo in case you have no idea what I'm talking about. But in the movie, there's this kid, Jan or Jan, um, however you want to pronounce it. I believe it's Jan in the movie. Jan is a uk kid and he is top of his area like in racing sim he has like the fastest records and like beats everyone like in his local town and at his local gaming cafe and someone proposes the great idea for these top of the line gran turismo racers to compete for a chance to go to a racing academy for nissan and potentially compete in real races which i know already sounds pretty crazy that'd be like you know sending in uh, i don't know face scump or or face banks to the navy seals because he's good at call of duty i don't even know if these kids play call of duty anymore but anyways my point is it'd be like that you know like you're playing a video game and video games don't necessarily translate into real world but these racing sims like gran turismo are so realistic that it does translate like they have so much seat time and track time in these racing sims that they have more racing time than real racers and real people that are competing because they can just do it whenever they want which makes sense and in the movie there's some stuff i might hit some small spoilers here and there so uh, spoiler alert i guess but in the movie there's some small things that like yawn catches when um at one point his brakes are glazed and he could just tell just by feeling and they're like how the fuck could you tell and he's like bro 
I'm telling you guys, I've been driving this car for years. I know when my brakes feel glazed and he actually wrecked because of it. And that's why they were asking him. But uh, which is just insane. Like, I don't know if that part of the story is actually true. I didn't go and do all my real research lore, but just movie wise, that part's insane. The movie is based on a true story. So I'm sure there are some embellishments here and there. But anyways, Jan goes and he uh, he competes. He he beats it. He wins in the academy. He goes on to race. And, of course, all of the real racers are, like, you know, not having a huge welcoming party for him. Of course, he's just that nerdy kid that's just played video games and somehow won his way into, like, you know, their league and stuff like that. Which I can kind of understand, you know, if you're one of these other racers that have worked hard, spent a lot of money, whether it's mommies and daddies or your own hard-earned money, on racing and you've been doing this your whole life and then some kid who's just been playing video games in his room comes along and joins in with you guys like I could understand their point of views and stuff like that and I'm sure in the movie they were probably exaggerated a little bit because these motherfuckers were trying to damn near kill him on the track but regardless um he eventually wins one of the series races or not wins but he places in fourth which allows him to get his racing card his racing license and then from there, he goes on and he races at the Nuremberg. And then here's where you have some major spoilers. So if you don't want to hear any of this and skip off, if you already know the story, then you already know. But a uh, major spoiler alert, while on the Nuremberg ring, he actually wrecks. And I thought he was done for. You know, the way that the camera showed him, I thought he was done for. I was like, oh my God, this isn't a happy movie at all. This dude is dead. No, he's not dead. However, he did kill a uh, an audience member, a spectator, which again is just insane that you know like the, like i can only imagine the guilt and like the regret he feels like that would be horrifying like <laughs> that would that would genuinely be traumatizing and it did show that it was like somewhat traumatizing for him well not somewhat it was really traumatizing for him and uh he had to learn to get over the fear of that i'm not gonna go and just spill every plot detail so i'm not gonna explain like everything but yeah after the crash the guy that was like in charge of the whole racing program says that Nissan might shut them down, but they have to prove that their shit isn't just, you know, wonkers and stuff like that. So they have to go and race Le Mans. And I was like, holy shit, this is some crazy shit. They had in the movie, again, I don't know what's true and what's not, three sim racers racing at Le Mans. And if they place podium, then that would prove to everyone that it's real shit. This is not a gimmick. And if you want to click off and not know how it ends, you could, but. I'm going to spoil it right now. They placed podium. They placed third. And I was so hyped. Like, I like that the movie didn't go the extra mile and, like, embellish it and be like, oh, no, they won first place. No, no, no. They placed third, which is still podium, which in Le Mans is still just, like, a huge monument. Just placing on the podium at Le Mans. They even hype it up in the movie. It is, like, historic. Like, it is, like, like they say in the movie, you will be immortal if you place on the podium like like i said i was so hyped the whole movie just made me want to go buy a gtr um it made me really want to just like learn my cars too and just go have some fun like i said i haven't been driving my cars ever since i got my truck i've just been like ah, we'll just take the truck today because i'm doing something with the lexus for a video i'm gonna take my girlfriend to work i'm taking my fucking mustang i am driving my mustang i'm gonna go out there and have a little bit of fun on the way to drop her off at work the movie was just really good. Like, I, it, it was just really good. Um, I think it did what they wanted it to do. It inspired people. Like, it motivated me and inspired me to, like, really learn how to drive good and, like, use my racing sim and go out there and have some fun. It didn't seem like anything was really plot armory. There were no, like, major coincidences. Like, oh, of course that would happen. And I just want to say, all of the audio in the movie, like all of the, the, the engine sounds, all of the racing, everything in the movie sounded so good. Like you could tell in movies when like they changed the audio in cars and I knew that they wouldn't, but just they captured the audio and it sounded so good. It sounded like you're at a track, like it sounded, the sound work on this movie is amazing. I mean, there were some areas where I remember um, the effects, you know, a little bad. I wouldn't even say bad. I would just say it was obvious that it was effects, but it was like when there were like major crashes and stuff like that. And I, I get it. They're not going to go out and actually crash, you know, Lamborghinis and GTRs and stuff like that. So I understand it. But other than that, I mean, it, it, it's a great looking movie. It's a great sounding movie. It's It's got a good story in it. I recommend it if you're a car guy or even if you're not a car guy, I think you'll like it. Like, it's just, it's it's a good movie. Some of the minor little details I liked was 
Um, at the beginning of the movie, it shows him on his racing sim, and it kind of shows how, like, it puts him into a car pretty much, and it's like he could feel everything in the car, and it's like the whole car is around him in his racing sim, and towards the end of the movie, they tie it all back together to where he's in the car, and then, like, the car, like, not explodes, but, like, expands, and, like, you know, all, every little part comes apart, and then you just see him in there, like, on his racing sim, and it kind of ties everything together, where it's, like, he was in his racing sim, feeling like he's in the car, now he's in the car, and it's just like he's still in the racing sim, just still doing the same old thing, and I, I don't know, it was really cool, like, it had little, t like, callbacks to that, I'm just rambling. I feel like I'm rambling. I don't know. If I were to rate the movie, uh, I would say it's definitely top three car movie for me. I'm not a huge car movie guy. I haven't seen every car movie out there, but, you know, it's up there. I would definitely rewatch it. I'll probably go watch it again with Brian, the man, the myth, the legend, and uh, maybe some other car buddies just because I enjoyed it that much. And it'll probably push me over the edge to go buy a GTR. I'm not even mad at this point. I'm not even mad. Like, I want one, and I want to spec it, like, tracked out. Like, I want one so bad. I want to fucking livery on it with just like uh, maybe i shouldn't go watch the movie because i think I'll, I'll end up with a gtr anyways guys let me know what you thought about the movie down below i really liked it it was better than i expected a lot better than i expected so i'm glad that um i i think it's doing well in the box office it was a good movie we need more we need more movies like that none of this like i like superhero movies but i feel like everything is just a superhero movie nowadays and it's just it's getting boring anyways go watch it i'm not paid by them i just recommend you watch it you'll have a good time anyways thank you Peace.